Hello everyone. Welcome to Literary Animator. A place where you study, we animate. Let's begin with the a brief introduction to the poet. Gajanan Madhav Muktibodh is one of the most well-known Hindi poets, essayists, literary and political critics, and fiction writers of the 20th century. He lived from 13th November 1917 to 11th September 1964. All right, let's move on to the poem's line-by-line -line explanation. The void inside us has jaws. Those jaws have carnivorous teeth. Those teeth will chew you up. Those teeth will chew up everyone else. According to Muktibodh, the void that resides inside of our hearts is represented as a beast with jagged teeth. The void has carnivorous teeth, the poet claims. A carnivore is an animal that consumes other animals for food. That is also how void is. By consuming the goodness of other people, it finds nourishment. The dearth inside is our nature, habitually angry. In the dark hollow inside the jaws, there is a pond of blood. The poet comments that the scarcity is inside us where the void resides. Our rage is a result of this dearth. The poet then depicts the ferocious and brutal aspect of human nature using the image of a pond of blood. This void is utterly black, is barbaric, is naked, disowned, debased, completely self-absorbed. Muktibodh describes the characteristics of the void. The color is dark or gloomy. It is debased, barbaric, naked, and disowned. Lastly, he claims that this emptiness is self-centered. Here, the poet makes an attempt to give the void a physical form. As a result, he takes the demonic spirit inside the representation of the void and manifests it for the readers as a humanoid beast. In the opening lines of The Void, Muktibodh explains the internal shunya in this manner. I scatter it, give it away, with fiery words and deeds. Those who cross my path find this void. In the wounds, I inflict on them. The poet switches to first-person narrative style in lines 15 to 21. Muktibodh affirms that he bears the same void as everyone else. He continues by describing how he feeds this dark half of his heart. His fiery words and deeds cause people's minds to suffer. He creates the chain reaction in this way. They let it grow, spread it around. Scatter it and give it away to others, raising the children of emptiness. The void is very durable. It is fertile. He creates the chain reaction in this way. They infect others with this negativity and the cycle continues. Other people develop the voids of spring and humanity is impacted. Here, we see a comparison between the harm we cause to others and the sowing of seeds. Finally, Muktibodh asserts that the emptiness is vast and very fertile. Every word breathes, saws, daggers, sickles, breeds carnivorous teeth. The poet goes into more detail about how this void spreads and impacts people. In a symbolic sense, the poet uses the words saws, daggers, and sickles. They stand for negative traits like brutality and cruelty. Muktibodh compares the teeth of those instruments to the carnivorous teeth. That is why, wherever you look, there is dancing, jubilation. Death is now giving birth to brand new children. Many people have been affected by this void. Instead of concentrating on themselves, the uneducated human race is in the mood for celebration. They are not in a state to think about how the void is consuming the positive traits in their hearts. Everywhere, there are oversight. With the teeth of saws, there are heavily armed mistakes. The world looks at them and walks on, rubbing its hands. 
Wars or heavily armed mistakes have claimed thousands of lives. We continue to ignore the consequences. The world looks at them and walks on, rubbing its hands, the poet claims. Muktibodh illustrates this by demonstrating how the void within us puts us in a constant condition of forgetfulness and inactivity. Thank you everyone. I hope you all liked my explanation. See you in next video.